To begin the batch cooking, we'll start with our Instapot, add to that about a cup and a half of broth. You can use beef broth, chicken broth, or even vegetable broth. Next, we're gonna add three pounds of ground beef that's been crumbled. Some Italian seasoning. Garlic powder. And a diced up onion. Peel. Set it on manual for 30 minutes. When the 30 minutes is up, we'll let it release for 10 minutes on its own and then drain the ground beef, let it cool, and we'll package it. So stay tuned. The ground beef is done cooking. It's been drained and while it was still hot, I used a masher to mash it up into some very small crumbles. If you don't, you'll have large chunks of the ground beef and that doesn't work very well in your recipes. So now it's time to package them up and I'm going to put one cup in a Ziploc bag and then put another cup in another Ziploc bag. And then part of this I'm going to use for Sloppy Joe's for tonight. So we'll put one cup in the pan. And I'll continue to do that until the ground beef is completely done. And it's nice and flat for storage in the freezer. So you've got this. And we have the ground beef for the Sloppy Joe's. So this will be our three meals. I'll put these in the freezer for another day. And in the next part, we'll go ahead and make up the Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe's for dinner. We've got two and a half cups of ground beef in here, about one pound. We're going to add one can of tomato sauce. And I'm give it a good stir. And the instructions on the package say put this on the oven or on the stove. Warm up to a so it starts bubbling. And then turn it down and let it simmer. At this point we're at five minutes. We're just really waiting on the sweet potatoes and for the seasonings and flavors to blend in the sloppy joes. We'll come back when everything's done. The meal would have taken less time had we used an air fryer to cook the sweet potatoes. That was the thing that took the longest. So while you're cooking the sweet potatoes and the sloppy joes are simmering on the stove, that would give you time to change out of your work clothes or get the kids started on the homework. So we're going to do tacos next, but if you have a chance, like and subscribe. It helps to grow the channel. It's free. It's a frugal tip, and I would really appreciate it if you would do this. So stay tuned for tacos.